Barcelona president Joan Laporta has admitted he hoped Lionel Messi would play for free when it mm. became apparent that the club could no longer afford to keep him. He said, I hoped until the last minute there would be a U-turn and he would say, I'll play for free. Oh, of course. I could have been convinced. I understand La Liga would have accepted it. But we could not ask a player of Messi's quality to do that. Uh, Gemma Soler, why is he saying this now and what's the reaction been in Spain to these comments? Uh, well, Kay, let me put that in context. Then we will talk about the, the, the consequences and what are we talking about. OK, so this was a, an interview with a Catalan radio. The president was very, very comfortable. He's got like a fine relationship with the journalist. And at some point, uh, the journalist asked, then was there a, a last minute call? Because there were rumors that the night where Barcelona made official the statement that Messi is leaving, there were a rumor that there was like a, a midnight phone call. So th the question was about that. And, and well, Joan Laporta said something like this never happened, but uh, he said something in Catalan like, but tenir l'esperança tot i confundir l'ús this literally means I had a hope, and you can say I'm a dreamer, that he at some point will say, I want to play for free. So this doesn't mean that the president thinks he should have said, I want, I have, I, I want to play for free because what Barcelona uh, did for me, uh, blah, blah, blah. So it's not like uh, he thought he would say that. But um, during the night, after that uh, very harsh announcement that the best player ever in Barcelona will leave after this president say in his presidential campaign that uh, I will arrange this in, uh, in, in a barbecue. So it was more like a dream. But of course, uh, this interview, the highlight, uh, the, the headlines were uh, this, uh, he should have played for free. Maybe here in, in Barcelona, the, 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 the reactions were not as harsh like in Madrid or in the rest of the world, because uh, of course he didn't mean he should have done it. Uh, so it's more something that you say in confidence that I, I was dreaming at night that maybe Messi for all what uh, he means for for this club. But the reaction, of course, is everybody knows Messi. He's been the best player in the world. He probably still is. So, of course, he doesn't have to play for free. But, Ale, Laporte has been around for long enough to know that if he says something like this, even though he says it was a dream, uh -huh. what the headlines are going to say the next day. Absolutely. Why is he talking to Catalan Radio anyways? Why, why, continue, oh. why continue to bring this out? Why continue to rehash this conversation? You're trying to move away from this, and it's almost as if you're trying to create this image that I did all I could, I apologize, I'm sorry, but you know what? It, it, it really isn't my fault, you know? I, I, I did everything that was out there to do. Even if it is in passing, even if it is just sort of kind of this casual conversation that Gemma is talking about, it still paints a picture of a team, an organization, that needed to be treated like a charity case. And that's not Barcelona, and it should not be Barcelona. And that doesn't change the fact that this club is in the situation that it is. That, again, the club president would have wanted the best player in the history of this club to treat the club like a charity case. Even if it's in passing, that's just the image that it portrays when you say, I hope that he would just pay, play for free. Come on now. If you're John Laporta and if you're Barcelona, you have to be better than this. Jules, what were your thoughts on it? I think it's an absolute joke. Even, even, the way, even if he said it, the way he said it, JMI explained the translation, I don't care. Why are you even saying it? And like, let's not forget how you, this whole happened. Messi and his dad, goes, they go in the stadium thinking, we're going to extend the deal. We're going to sign the new deal, everything. They thought everything was agreed. And then at that moment, Laporta and his people say, actually, you know what? There's a problem. We can't sign you anymore because we don't have the money. So imagine the shock. And then you still expect him to go, oh, it's OK, Johan. It's OK. We're friends. I'm going to play for free for this club now. In what world? In what world? Is, is this the Care Bear world? Again, we go back to the same thing. Does Laporta think this is the Care Bear world? Is this, <laughs> does he think that's where we are now? I mean, come on. This, this, club, this club is the gift that keeps on giving. I'm telling you that right now. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.